What is it that motivated you to get into politics? What is it that made you want to run for Congress in the first place? Oh, well, um, the, the story is really one that centers around my father. My, my father, well, you know, it's the South, it's Georgia, it's Atlanta, it's the, the brain of the civil rights movement. And so I was steeped in all of that change, that deep structural change that was taking place. And my family was a part of that change. They, my dad was involved in the, in the protest, the demonstrations carried me. Um, I, re, you know, I faced down the Klan in Alabama and, you know, so it's just a part of my upbringing. And then after the passage of the 1965 Voting Rights Act, my dad said, forget this begging policymakers to to uh, affect policy for us. Let's just make public policy. And so then he ran for office and he ran for office and he ran for office and he finally won after the redistricting that goes along with the Voting Rights Act. And um, so uh, it was uh, natural for me to begin, be get involved in politics. And that's how I ended up running for the Georgia legislature spending four years there. And then when I saw some dirty backroom deals being cut by the good old boys uh, mm -hmm. trying to determine who the next member of Congress was going to be, I said, well, the people are supposed to make that decision, not right. backroom politics. And so um, I offered myself, I had no money. I had $25,000 to run a congressional campaign with. <laughs> And I won.